Hi everyone, and this is Kelly. Welcome back to Kelly's Little One's Nursery. So, I wanted to come on with you to, tonight to tell you about one personal goal I have been tr that I am new to and that I wanted to um, talk about. One of my personal goals is to read some scripture, at least a little bit of scripture one day, um, or, or not one day a week, but every day if I have time, just to spend a little time with God. And um, so what this is, is it is a Bible. Um I actually got it at a yard sale uh, a few years back. Um, I didn't know what it was, and I was interested. And um, they said it was. And then I realized what it was when I opened it, and it was a Bible. It's the uh, says Thompson. The Thompson. Chain Reference Bible, New Inter in International Version. Um, it is kind of old, but and you can see the discoloration. But so my personal goal is to um read a little bit, a little bit each day. Um. And this has some, some, uh, this is littler print, and I just kind of went through it a little bit to see what I wanted to read. And as you can see, I have my bookmark here, in case you can't see what it says. It says, Jesus loves me. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16 And so before I left this morning, um, I started reading Peter 1 verse, sorry, I don't know the actual terminations of, um, of the, of what these are, but Peter, basically Peter 1 Verse four, I think, or three or four. I think verse four. And um, what I started with was living for God. And I read, I was able to read some of it. And then I was just about to. Um, read the rest of it i kind of went through the rest of it um for living for god and i was halfway through it when i looked up and realized that it was like 8 48 and it was almost time for me to go and i was like oh shoot i have to stop i have to stop where i left off so that's why my um, bookmark was right here. And um, it is where I could read it. Bear with me for a minute. Let me grab my glasses here. Okay, there we go. So let me see if I can finish this off for you. And, and I do have reading glasses. I got these at Walmart actually for like 10 bucks I think it was 
I tried on several dis different pairs to see what would work the best. And these are these are stronger, and they're purple, and they came with this case. So let's you and I, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters in Christ, why don't you? Why don't we spend some time with God tonight? So this one is one Peter four three. I think it is. Living for God. Therefore, since Christ suffered for his error, suffered in his body, arm yourselves also with the same attitude because he also suffered in his body. Is his body. Be oh my gosh. See, this is why I don't read you guys. Okay, let's try this again. Therefore, since Christ suffered in his body, arm yourselves also with the same attitude, because he who has suffered in his body is done with, is done with sin. As a result... He does not live the rest of his eternity, like internally, internally life for evil. That the will of the will of God, or but rather for the will of God. For you have spent enough time in the past doing what pagans choose to or choose choose do living with deb uh, deb 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 oh sorry guys lust lust Drunkenness, orgies, there's another word I can't read, oh, cursing, and detriment, ah. they think it is a struggle, or it is strange that you do not plunge with them into the same flood of desperation and they heap abuse on oh, you, but they will have to give account to him who is already, who is ready to judge the living and the dead for this is the reason the gospel was preached even to those who are now dead so that they might be judged according to men in regard to body but living or but live according to god in regard to spirit so I hope that those of you that probably know the Bible probably know this better than me. But we're going to finish this part. The end of all things is near. Therefore, be clear-minded and self-controlled so that you can pray above all. Love, love each other deeply because love covers over a magnitude of sins. Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each 
Each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others faithfully and and my administering God's grace in its vigorous forms. If anyone speaks, he should do it as one speaking the very words of God. If anyone serves, he should do it with the strength God provides so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and the power forever. Amen. So I apologize for my reading. My reading, you guys, is not all that great. Please, if I do read from the Bible to you all to do a little, to read a little scripture together, um, please bear with me and I hope and pray that you all understand. So, so that is what I didn't finish. Um, there's more, but I don't feel like reading more. The next part is suff suffering being a suffering being a Christian. And then it goes from here to here to number five. And then but I that's what I tried to start reading this morning. And um I, when I realized it was time to go. So I hope that this helps you this evening. A little reading a little reading a little scripture with me or trying your best to follow along. Um, but that is one of my goals is to read a little scripture every morning, spend a little time with God to start out my day and, uh, say a little prayer and uh, along with some of my other goals like brushing my teeth, um, saying a daily prayer, reading a little scripture. Um, I, there's a couple of times I haven't done that. I managed to fit reading a little bit of scripture today. And uh, so that was that. And uh, I do have my babies over here. Can you see them over there? They're all in their pajamas. They were on their pajamas yesterday. Um, I'm thinking about changing them. Um, so I just wanted to come on and tell you about one of my new personal goals I have set for myself is to set aside some time when I get done reading, uh, getting ready for my day, whatever the day may look like, is if I have some time, sitting down and reading some scripture. So I hope you all enjoyed that little scripture reading with me, even though my reading kind of stinks, and I apologize for my reading, but... I hope you were still able to follow along. Always, always, um, you know, if you find a little time, say just when you get up in the morning, maybe before you start your day, you could say a little prayer for yourself or as, or if you don't, if, if that's not your, if that's not your scene, if you're in, if you if the God thing isn't your scene, um, you know, as you're getting ready in your bathroom, getting ready for your day, whether you're a man or a woman, you can just say something positive about yourself. Like, you know what? I am going to have a good day. Or I am my best me. 
something like that. Remain positive, keep your head held high. Um, if you're if you're a godly person, pray. If you're not, just just get up and say, you know what? I'm going to have a good day. Something simple. So thank you all for watching, and give this video a thumbs up if you if if you liked it. Go ahead and comment down below if you. Uh, just tell me what you think, I guess. So, thank you for watching, and as always, God bless. Have a, have a great rest of your Friday evening, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.